Welcome. This tutorial is going to be about a special character called indent to here. Now the scenario you would use this for is when you have a bullet or another character and you want some space and you want the rest of that paragraph to align to that space. So I'm going to turn on my invisibles, which are these non-printing blue characters. If you're not familiar with what invisibles are, I do have a tutorial on that topic. So in this scenario, I have a tab to create that space and then a soft return, another tab, soft return, and so on. Now, it creates the effect, but it's very problematic because if any words are added, you lose the alignment. Another wrong way to do it is by using spaces. Again, I have spaces, soft return, spaces, and it never aligns perfectly. And of course, I have the same problem. If words are added or copy changes, you lose that alignment. So the proper way to do it is put your cursor in front of the first character where you want the indent. Command backslash. What that does, puts in a special character, this cross, which says indent everything in that paragraph to that spot. Now, of course, if I add words, I do not lose that alignment and the copy can change. Now you can create the space between the bullet and your first character either using spaces or you can create a tab to create that space. Now if you don't remember command backslash, which is really common, you should uh, use that often, put the cursor in front of the character, you go to type, insert special characters, other indent to here. And there it is, command backslash. And there you go. So that's it for indent to here.